got people coming in uh, in droves to help us celebrate our grand opening at our new museum facility at 1440 Monument Avenue here in Springfield. Uh, and if you pass us, you end up being in the Oak Ridge Cemetery. So that's how close we are to the cemetery. We're just a hop, skip, and a jump outside the gates of Oak Ridge Cemetery. Welcome. Welcome to all of you. I am excited. You, just looking at you out there, you make me excited more and more and more and more. It makes me know that this is a good place to be tonight in Springfield, Illinois. How about that? All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. We have some honored guests here, and I'll introduce them later. Uh, but I, first, I want to do is just welcome you. Thank you so much. I have to admit, I'm tired. <laughs> but I know there are other people in the room who are just as tired, or maybe even more than I am. If you had been in this building a week ago tonight, you would have not seen what you see tonight. I don't know why it happens sometimes, but um, it's always, um, we'll get there. Don't worry, we'll get there. We will get there. And then it begins to look like the uh, 11th hour and the 59th minute, and we're saying we'll get there. And this time we got here. Yeah. Amen. 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 I want to acknowledge some folks um, who are the reasons why we're here tonight. Certainly my board. My board. What a wonderful board. I, um, I didn't realize to the extent that this board has committed to this, this, this endeavor. And, and to me, it's more than just an endeavor. It's a ministry. This is one of my ministries. And um, I know it's blessed by God. So that's why I'm here. That's why I do this, this ministry. And I know it's the ministry of, of my board members. So I want my board members to come up here. If you're, come on up here. Anybody that's not here. These are the folks that make this possible. And uh, I am blessed to, to have them honor me with this, uh, you know, with the, with the charge that I, that I have here. So, um, thank you all. Just, just hold, 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 hold tight there. I also want to, let me, let me give you a little, little bit of history of why we got here. Um, I think it was probably maybe just a little bit more than a, a year ago. Uh, our neighbors across the street, the Oak Ridge Cemetery Board, came to us and said, hey, would you be interested? We got this building that's been vacant for, oh gosh, who knows how long. It's been vacant for a while. And uh, we think that we might be a good partnership together. And we said, oh, okay, because if you remember where we were, we uh, were on the University of Illinois Springfield campus in an 1850s era forum house. And it was not very much we could do at that location uh, because it was, <clears throat> I'll just put it away, probably didn't meet all the regulations that it, that it needs to meet when you're having people come into your home and to your, to your, your business. Uh, and we said, okay, we'll take a look at it. And we did, and almost automatically we said, yeah, we think we can make this work. Now, it took a while to get here. And um, uh, the other, and, and, and where's Mike Lalies? I see you right there. Okay. That's my good buddy. That's our good buddy. Mike is director of the Oprah Cemetery. And it was through him and his board, and some of his other board members are here. It was through him, their diligence, their patience with the process. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what it means to try to deal with government. <laughs> But it was a long process, of, and we learned a lot, and we, 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 developed, we, we developed a relationship during that process, didn't we, Mike? Yes, yes we did. And so um, I have to mention also and acknowledge our mayor, who was very, very instrumental in us sitting down. And 
making it possible for us to put our John Hancocks on, on the final agreement. And they were very generous to us in some respects in that uh, agreement. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, oh, they will find out very, very soon that they, they did, uh, made the right decision. So we, we thank you, Mayor. It's not hard, it's not easy sometimes to, to sit down at the table and, and work things through, but we were able to do with, the, with that, do that with the folks that, that are here tonight, and we just want to thank you and acknowledge your help. Okay. I'm going to do some other things uh, later on, um, but uh, I think it's a good time for Mayor Jim Lane Felder to come forward and have some remarks, and then we'll have remarks by the governor. Thank you, Doug. It gives me uh, great pride to welcome everybody here to this uh, momentous occasion uh, for the city of Springfield. So on behalf of the citizens of Springfield and the city council members, Alderman Proctor and Alderman Sino are here. We really appreciate the efforts of the African American History Museum Board. And this really shows what can happen when a community comes together. And that's what it's all about. So we really appreciate your efforts in regards to that. And what's important is, uh, my dad always said, you have to remember your history because you don't want to repeat the mistakes of the past. And uh, Springfield has a unique history, you know, the home of Abraham Lincoln, the first African-American president had his political roots here and uh, President Barack Obama. But we had the uh, unpleasant history of the 1908 race riots, which led to the NAACP and the history of Springfield impacted not only Springfield, the state, the country, but the world. And we really need to tell that history and how we overcome obstacles and move forward. And this is just the beginning of telling that. So we really appreciate your efforts in bringing everybody together in Springfield towards this uh, needed and uh, great event and facility that will uh, preserve our history, not only for our children, but future generations. So thank you very much. So the other thing my dad said is keep it short. So I'll just get to the proclamation, is that all right? That's right. So it reads, whereas understanding the need to preserve the history and fill a crucial role in the national discussion of race, community, residents created the Springfield, Illinois African American History Foundation in 2006. And whereas the foundation collected over 65 oral histories and in partnership with the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library, the original tapes and transactions are housed at the library and accessible to the public. And whereas from this successful endeavor, the foundation established the African American History Museum and reached a crucial milestone on February 23, 2012, when it opened its first location at 521 East Washington Street in downtown Springfield. And whereas in the hometown of our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, a place that signifies unity, optimism, and faith, the African American History Museum provides a place for research, ed educational programming, and interpretive services to ensure we never forget the stories and events that shaped our country and community. And whereas today we gather to celebrate the home, new home of the African American History Museum at 1440 Monument Avenue, next door to Abraham Lincoln's resting place. And whereas the African American History Museum is an important reminder of how far we have come because of the hard work and passion of individuals who came before us and gives us hope to what is, come, is to come because of the efforts and dedication we see today. Now therefore be it resolved that I, James O. Langfelder, Mayor of the City of Springfield, Illinois, do hereby proclaim that Thursday, March 3rd, 2016, be the Springfield and Central Illinois African American History Museum Day in the City of Springfield. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Well, what, I think last Wednesday, Wednesday of last week, uh, many of us in this room uh, had the honor and the privilege of helping uh, the governor 
and Mrs. Rahner celebrate Black History Month uh, at their home, your home. And, and the governor and, and Mrs. is always want you to know that the mansion is a place where they're living. It's their home for now, but it's always our home. Exactly. Okay? And I have to tell you, I'm really, really happy that you folks live in our home. <laughs> we have too many governors who have chosen not to live in our home. And so we thank you for that, Governor. Um, he invited us, he and, and, and the Mrs. invited us to share some, some opportunity and some fellowship with them last week. And we wanted them to share this very momentous day in, in the life of this Missouri with us and uh, museum with us. And we're glad you took us up on an offer. So why don't you come up here and share some words with us? Well, is this a beautiful space or what? Is this a fantastic place? Congratulations to all of you who brought this together. A lot of hard work, a lot of negotiation, a lot of teamwork, a lot of compromise. And I know how hard that is. <laughs> and and uh, congratulations to you at all. You know what? Springfield's my adopted home. And I love Springfield. This is a great community. This is a great community. I love it. It's a privilege for Diane and I to live for a few years in the governor's residence here. I love that. It's a beautiful building. And we're excited to restore that to its prominence and its elegance and its beauty once again and really make it a proud people's house again. Um, you know, and this is my first time in this museum. This is wonderful space. I'm happy to make, we made a little contribution tonight. We're going to do a lot more. My wife and I are pretty good at fundraising and I look forward to helping you fundraise so you can expand this and bring more exhibits here. You know, the, the African-American experience in Springfield and the African-American experience in Illinois is at the core of the African-American experience in America. It's the fundamental element of our, of our history. With all its good and its bad, its troubles and its triumphs. And telling the story of African Americans in Springfield and in central Illinois and around Illinois is essential to really understanding American history. So this is an important institution for all Americans. This is going to be an important institution for visitors from around America and around the world to come to Springfield to learn that history. And I think this location is awesome. It's so appropriate being right across from the opening to Lincoln's tomb in the cemetery right over there. I think it's a brilliant place for this to be located. So I'm excited and honored. I look forward to helping in any, in any ways I can. And again, congratulations to you all. Let's celebrate. This is a great day for the people of Illinois. Thank you very much. Listen, we, we got a ribbon we want to cut to officially open this new museum to the community. Not just the Springfield community, but to everybody who... There we go. Thank you. Just stretch that out. And... There you go. Okay. Mr. Mayor, Governor, if you will, why don't you come up here and join me in the center here. Okay. Again, thank you all. You're the reason we're here. You have entrusted this journey to us, and we look forward to this journey. And we look forward to you all accompanying us on this journey. So, on three. One, two, three. All right. Hi, my name is Lynn Williamson. I'm on the executive board for the African American History Museum for Springfield and Central Illinois. Welcome to our museum. We are most proud and most happy to be in our new home. The exhibit that I'm standing in front of now is called the Middle Passage. And the Middle Passage was the route uh, from the west coast of Africa into the South Americas and to the North Americas. And also what you'll have are pictures 
numbers of individuals who were in these cargo ships, these these uh, clipper ships, and and how they were in here. Um, um, it was very uncomfortable conditions. Not only did they have to stand at the point of no return, which was a, which was a 30-day journey from the islands that they were into a mountain, onto the side, into a clipper ship uh, that usually were two stories high. And they called that the point of no return because once they got in the inside of that mountain, there was no way they could get out. So babies were born during that 30-day period. People died during that time it was very very traumatic and here this this right here is the journey from Africa into Brazil into North America so this was the route of um, the Middle Passage and Tom Feelings is the author of the coffee table book, The Middle Passage, and he's done a wonderful wonderful job of depicting uh, that journey Right here, we have what we believe, <clears throat> excuse me, to be the view leaving Africa. Uh, you have the sun, you have the birds, you have the mountains in the back and, and the beauty. We have no idea of knowing if that was the actual view, but that's the view we like to think that, that uh, the unfortunate passengers on these ships took. Moving down here, this right here, uh, this gives a little more clear picture of how the cargo, the human cargo, was packed into the hulls of the clipper ships. I mean, and they, they were stacked, they were layered, and imagine that 30 days or 90 day journey. It was horrible. I, I could only imagine. And here is another position right here uh, where um, the human cargo was in the hull of the ship. And uh, this is how they traveled for a 90 day trip. So we're hoping that the Middle Passage will be very educational for youth. Um, it's part of our history, it's part of our journey into this country. And uh, we're just um, glad that, that the community is uh, excited about it. I believe that um, it will have a tremendous impact on the community. Uh, everyone in the community will be able to come here and look at uh, Af relics from African American history and also to get an idea of the history of Springfield. It is a tremendous asset to the community and I am, I am absolutely wonderful and glad to be a, pro a part of it.